You may recognize seeing this NYC pigeon image. Let's show it to you right there on t-shirts and sneakers. But not a lot of people know the story behind it. In 1997, Jeff Staple walked into a boutique in New York City wearing a hand-printed silkscreen t-shirt that he created. The boutique store manager took notice of Jeff's shirt. He placed the first ever order, 12 t-shirts. And then flash forward to today, Staple has become a world-renowned street culture and design brand that people say reflects New York's energy. Jeff Staple joining me now for much more on this. Thanks so much for How being here. Thanks for having me. I feel like that's the dream of people who want to design things as you walk into the store and the manager's so impressed that they place an order right then and there. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I wasn't even really trying to start a brand at the time. I was just wearing my shirt. Yeah. And it just so happened that that manager liked what I was wearing and placed an order of 12 shirts. And I know even beyond that, you've said that you weren't even really trying to create a company. You were trying to create a, a form of art expression. That's right. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, we all take the city buses, trains, subways, every day and I was thinking instead of making art that I put on a wall of my apartment how about I make art and put it on a shirt and that way tens of thousands of people that I see on my commute every day can see my art versus coming into my tiny little studio apartment so I just felt like the t-shirt was a much better canvas for art than an actual canvas so that was 97 was the first store yep fast forward to 2005 and you work with Nike yes to make a shoe to sort of rep to represent NYC culture that's We've right We've got the pigeon there I've uh, hopefully we can get a close-up look on on the yeah. pigeon there what's the origin story of the pigeon so I wanted to make a shoe dedicated to New York City and to me the pigeon is the ultimate spirit animal of New York. It's just got hustle, grit, you know, integrity, and love it or hate it, it's always gonna be there just like a New Yorker is. Mm -hmm. So we created this sneaker that's designed around the pigeon, and this shoe has become a holy grail in sneaker culture. Uh, I mean, Sotheby's just auctioned one pair off for $100,000. Okay. Well, we'll be very careful with it. Yes, on, yes. Uh, on this the is my personal right pair, so it's okay. Uh, okay. Well, I, I won't be touching it, I promise. I yeah. don't want to de devalue that. Thing. Uh, the slogan for Staple mm -hmm. uh, is a social contagion. A positive social contagion. A positive contagion. social yes. contagion. Yes. So, and you, I think you were talking about this just in, in wearing it on your shirt and wanting mm -hmm. people to see it, but what, what exactly are you trying to spread positively? Well, we do a lot of different things, books, sneakers, fashion, you know, we even collaborated with Shake Shack, the burger chain. So I needed a slogan that encapsulates everything that we do and positive means moving forward, social means of people and a contagion, as we know, is something that spreads. Mm -hmm. So everything we do just pushes mankind forward and just thinking positively. We've been talking more and more about representation and what it means as an Asian American in the fashion world. What does representation mean to you? And also what are your inspirations? I mean, when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s, there wasn't a lot of representation. I didn't see a lot of people that looked like me. So it's important that what I do now, I think the younger generation sees that anything that you can do is possible. You know, I grew up a uh, child of an immigrant parent who wanted me to be a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant, and being a creative designer was not in the cards. But now I'm hoping that the next generation can see that, hey, anything is possible. Right, and obviously we see the book title, not just yes. sneakers. Yes. You're about a whole lot more than that. What's next for Staple? Uh, just pushing what we do as like in terms of AAPI, you know, just raising awareness. Every, I still want to create, but I want to be able to enlighten the next generation that uh, their dreams can come true. And yeah, this book sort of covers the first 25 years of my career. It's called Jeff Staple, Not Just Sneakers. Mm -hmm. Hope you get it uh, and read more about me. Oh yeah, I'm sure there'll be much bigger things for the next 25 years as well. Yes. Jeff Staple, a pleasure to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being here. I'm trying to get a peek at your sneaks underneath the table. I'm sure they're, <laughs> I'm sure they're much better than the dress shoes I'm wearing. Thank you very much for your Thanks time. So much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.